President William Ruto's grand plan by mending fences with opposition chief Raila Odinga could be his way of testing his electoral machine. Political observers say the president is cleverly playing his 2027 cards to avoid the overrun Mount Kenya that overwhelmingly voted for him and overcome the political burden that comes with incumbency. Here's Grace Ganga with the report. Pulling pressure from Gen Z that indicated that President William Bruto's administration had become widely unpopular across some demographics and regions. It now seems that Ruto has hatched a plan to go back to his hustlers who propelled him into the 2022 presidency. Recent moves by President William Bruto have revealed his change of strategy, penetrating rival territories including Raila's heartland of Nyanza and consolidating Western Kenya as his plan B should the restless Mount Kenya region flip as he builds his 2027 re-election machine. For a man who for the past two months seemed out of touch with a section of Kenyans and cornered by the political atmosphere with calls for his resignation. The entry of opposition could be mistaken as Ruto's missing antidote. Hi, John Badingongo. Since swearing in his broad-based cabinet, the president is back at it, addressing roadside crowds from the sunroof of his car with charm offensive promises in various parts of the country. From coast, Mount Kenya, Western, the president seems keen on solidifying his support. The president is not just campaigning for 2027. The president is trying to buy back the goodwill that was lost. The ground was lost. Kenyans had, had lost confidence in him. So he's trying to bring it back. There is a feeling in Ruto's camp that he needs to expand his political foothold beyond the regions that overwhelmingly supported his 2022 presidential bid. This is informed by changing political dynamics, especially in the Mount Kenya region, that signals a possible rebellion against Kenya Kwanzaa due to unmet expectations and a succession wars. With the shadows of retired President Uhuru Kenyatta in the Mount Kenya region, perhaps is that a reason why he does not want to solely depend on the Mount Kenya votes come to 27? That's why he partnered, perhaps, with the opposition? Well, if you, maybe, maybe he thinks he can... He can replace Mount Kenya with uh, Western Kenya to mean Luo and the Luo nation and the Luya nation. But if he asked me, and I've said it repeatedly, it will be easier to keep your promises with the Mount Kenya people and stop fighting the Gadiga Shagwa than to think you can compensate for the loss of Mount Kenya by getting votes from Raila and Mdavad. I think that's wrong calculation. Ruto, who once just thumped of never working with the opposition, has been humbled by young protesters, forcing him to make the radical changes for his own political survival to avoid anything that could weaken him politically and have a lasting impact on his presidency just under two years into office. Grace Nanga KT News, Nairobi. Now, our award-winning Olympians are scheduled to be jetting back into the country today after uh, bugging.